Blake, how are you? I'm great, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, thank you for doing this, uh, for doing the uh, Kiss and Tell campaign, the photos. Uh, from what you were taking and from the energy of the kids, what do you think of, of the experience? It was, it was great. They all seemed like very professional. Like they, they seem like they've been in the business for years, which makes my job a lot easier. And they were, they were really able to sort of um, convey the idea and you know the feeling and the vibe that I, I, I wanted. I really didn't have to say much to them. So you know, it was a very positive experience from, from that standpoint. And, and with the Kiss and Tell campaign, how do you imagine the campaign being? What, what's What's the message for you with Kiss and Tell? Well, you know, like the, the whole message is is empowerment and communication and um, trust. You know, like it's it's about like communicating to your partner and communicating your trust for your partner. And it's also about destigmatizing, um, talking about your history. You know, your history and also your um, HIV status, whether it's positive or negative. You know, just taking the stigma away from that. So, like the one image that really resonates with me is where they're standing, looking straight into each other's eyes, and it's very, it's a very powerful image, and it's not like a literal thing where you know, like the, the campaign is called Kiss and Tell, but you know, like I, I'm, I'm not big on literal stuff. And to me, it's just like a very empowered sort of thing, and it's, it's like you know, they're engaged, they're engaging each other, and. I don't know how to articulate it. It's a feeling. You know, I'm a visual person, so yeah. it's hard for me to articulate. But that's that's how I see it. Is that that really strong image of them just like peering into each other's eyes? You know, with 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 like this stoic sort of vibe to it. Yeah, it's a beautiful image already. Yeah. <laughs> I know. So, how important is it for uh, people to get involved and to help the community the way that you did? It's it's essential. You know, I think it's everyone's everyone. Everyone who's able to, you know, not, not everyone is able to, but anyone who is able to, and I know a lot of people who are able to out there, um, I, think, I think if you are able to, it's, it's your responsibility to, to do something. You know, it doesn't have to be big, it doesn't, you know, it just, but to do something, to just like make, make one effort towards, you know, helping your brothers and sisters. Mm -hmm. Is there anything else you want, what, would like us to know about you or your experience tonight? Um, I love GMHC, and I think the, you guys do incredible, you know, work with so many in so many different areas. And I'm, I'm I'm becoming privy to more and more of it as as my experience you know grows with you as I as I evolve with you guys. So uh -huh. um, I'm very grateful that um, I'm able to you know participate in the stuff that I do with you guys. So thank well, you. Thank you so much for this. This is great. <laughs> Thanks a lot. So we are at the shoot. Yes. So far. What's your experience? Well, to have an opportunity like this with the top names in the industry right now, especially in New York City, to work with Mike and the rest of them, it's a, a dream come true. As, ever since I walked in, I've been smiling, and it's something that you always dreamed about, and to have a cause behind it makes it even more mm -hmm. effective. So being photographed by Mike Ruiz, what is, what's the experience like? <laughs> <laughs> I blush. He, it's amazing. It's to meet someone that actually has such a big name, to have so much professionalism behind them, and understand exactly what the model is going through. He's very, he talks to you through the whole standpoint, smiling whether to stand still or not. It's an honor, and mm -hmm. it's a good lesson at the same time. Mm -hmm. And you can't stand still because you're, you had too much coffee? Yeah, me and Luna <laughs> had almost five cups of coffee. The bar has closed us out. <laughs> you're not allowed. So the message, kiss and tell, what do you think of that? And why do you think that campaign is important? It standpoints because the, the youth, exactly what we, where I was when I met Luna, 14 years old, not understanding what's going on, to be so blinded by something that's been going on for years now, and to have a voice in it. We sometimes overlook the youth when honestly they are our future. They're the ones that are going to be able to stop HIV and AIDS eventually mm -hmm. with our help. So Kiss and Tell is basically to give back to your partner. It's a commitment, a truth, a, a version between y'all two, a bond, that you should be able to tell them anything. It's almost like a heterosexual marriage. You feel like you're supposed to come into marriage and be honest and truthful and everything should be played on the cards and don't have the fear of them leaving you or any other consequences that comes from you being honest. Mm -hmm. But it definitely starts with you. Right. And so what do you think about the rising numbers of HIV infection among young people? Well, 48% of African American and Latinos, it's scary. We're already, I'm 23 now, and you're telling me between 13 and 29, 
all these people, 48% of us are infected. It's a scary number to yeah. know that it's honestly taking over our community. I'm trying not to cry, but it's hurtful because my little sister's 17. Uh, my cousin, he's 18, just came out. Mm -hmm. It's scary to know that, that eventually, you know, something like that can happen to them. Mm -hmm. What do you think we need to do as a community? We need to talk about it. The fact of, I feel like the cure to HIV and AIDS to stop it from spreading so rapidly is to talk. Be honest with each other, being able to have a conversation and tell the person, you know, this is what I'm going through and are you here for me and not the fact that my status is negative or positive. Mm. All right. So that's the standpoint of it now. It's for us to be honest with each other, for us to start talking and teaching the youth not to be afraid. Kiss mm. and tell. Mm. Thank you. So, Thank you. so far, how do you feel about being, put, one, being photographed by Mike Ruiz, but also being a part of a campaign that is going to influence young people to get tested and... I feel great. Actually, I'm very excited. I just finished doing my, sh my shoot right now. It was the first one. Uh, I had the only punk rock look on. I still have a little bit on right now, but mm -hmm. it's good. I'm having fun with it. Um, I have to change soon for another shoot, mm -hmm. but I'm going good. What do you think about the campaign, the message behind the Kiss and Tell? Well, it's good, you know, like to help out these young youth and, you know, give them more resource and stuff that they come, you know, help, like, access or whatever, you know, like the drop -in center at GMAC 29th between 8th and 7th, you know, it's good. You get a lot of information there. We have a lot of groups there and everything. I'm always a part of it. Um, I'm excited to be a part of the um, Kiss and Tell remix again because I was in the first one, but I'm here bringing it back and it's more fresh and more unique and very high class and up there. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, thank yeah. you. <laughs> so how exciting is it to be here today? Uh, it's real exciting. Here for a change, here to start something, start a movement, hopefully. Mm -hmm. How important is it to get involved and do a campaign like Kiss and Tell? Um, it's real important and it's good that we're, well, I feel like it's important for me to be a part of something like this because I am young. This is my community. I'm going to be a leader in this community. So hopefully, you know, people take this campaign seriously and know that HIV and AIDS rates are going up and that they should be going to get tested. Hopefully this influences people to go get tested. Not even just straight, not just gay people, but, you know, the straight community, everyone. And Marie, how does it feel being here, being a part of something so big? This is a very big thing to me. Um, the photographer for Wells and all. I do. This is my first time actually giving back. I can honestly say this is a big opportunity for me to, um, you know, finally do something. I did participate in marches before, but this is a real like national campaign. You know, this is a serious thing. Mm -hmm. What does it feel like to know that you're going to be photographed by Mike Ruiz? <laughs> Just being in a room with him in general is just an amazing thing. One, he's beautiful. Two, his presence is very strong. Um, he's very inspirational guy. Mm. And for you, what do you think of Mike Ruiz and his <laughs> he's, work? He's <laughs> <laughs> Um Well, he's a beautiful man, so I'm sure he's going to be taking beautiful pictures of us. <laughs> his work's amazing. Yeah. yeah. All right, thank you. So tell me, how does it feel so far being a part of the Kiss and Tell campaign and the creation of it? It feels great. It feels like I'm contributing. You know, usually I model and stuff like that, but it feels good to do it for free and just for the fun of it. Mm -hmm. um, what, what do you see this campaign doing? What do you see it doing for the community? I see this campaign inspiring kids to have safer sex and to come out the closet more as well and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And what do you think that's important? I think it's important because the more kids come out the closet, the more they know about safe sex. If you stay in the closet, you don't necessarily know. Mm -hmm. There's nobody to teach you better. Mm -hmm. and, w and what does it feel like to uh, be photographed by Mike Ruiz? Well, it feels great, <laughs> actually. <laughs> I don't know what to say. I'm honored. Uh, all right. Is there anything else you want us to know about um, your experience so far this morning? My experience has been great. What else is there to know? Mm -hmm. All right. Well, thank thank how you. so far do you feel about this experience? Um, it's fun. Like it's something new. It's my actually my my first photo shoot mm -hmm. like, in this setting, so it's pretty cool. Yeah. How important do you feel the Kiss and Tell campaign is gonna be? Um, how important is it? Yeah. Well, it's gonna spread a message to everybody. It's gonna be widespread, and 
I think everybody should be aware of safe sex in mm -hmm. general. So. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like this uh, campaign is going to speak to young people and help them in decisions that they're probably going through? Or um, yeah, it's definitely. And I think they selected a good group of models because it's like a diverse group of people, and mm -hmm. everybody can relate to it. So to look at it and be like, oh, it's, it's interesting. It's like eye catching. So. Right. All right. Anything else you want to tell us about your experience so far this morning? Um, <laughs> I'm pretty hungry, so that's all I have to say. All right, go eat. <laughs> Thanks a lot. I hope that this campaign empowers our young people to know that it's okay to be gay. Like, so what? Get over it. You know, I like kissing boys. It is what it is. And I hope it particularly um, gets attractive to young people. Young people meaning like teenage audience. Because this is what it's geared towards. Kiss and Tell is geared towards a teenage audience. And I'm hoping that a lot of people who deal with struggling with their sexuality and their identity look at this campaign as a way of support. And in turn, look at GMHC as a way of support. Because GMHC is an uh, agency that is also for young people and teenagers to utilize for whatever services that they need. Um, me, myself, I discovered GMHC as a teenager. And now as a staff person, you know, I think that it's grown tremendously and I think that this campaign is just another example of that and I hope that we really get to um, have our youth you know own their identity and be proud of themselves and be proud to kiss and tell you know because at the end of the day it's having those conversations and and um, having that comfortability that will have them develop healthy lives that will help them hopefully you know decrease the number of infections when it comes to HIV and STDs and hopefully the campaign all around will just be fun and another movement for the gay community to be upgraded, to be uplifted and to just be empowered, like you know what I mean? Kiss and tell, it's fab, it's the good thing to do. But the next step is for like community health or you or retouching or you know. What what what? What what what? What what what?